Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. What's up? What's popping? Jim along, the guy. Today is gonna be a Generations The Legacy review episode, and I'm going to be touching on a little bit of what has been happening between Spare and Marjorie and how this whole marriage has become a whole mess so for my previous um video i mentioned that maji has been cheating on his pair with vicky lay right and this has been going on for a while but Spare was not aware of it until the night of Fikile's relaunching of her jewelry line, right? So the night before that, uh, Marjorie spent the night with Fikile and it looks like Fikile forgot one of her earrings at the hotel. So Marjorie decided to put it in his pocket his suit pocket and he completely forgot about it so he went to the relaunch with the same jacket that he was wearing the night before so at some point spare was feeling cold so marjorie decided to take off his suit jacket and give it to spare to wear to keep herself warm while she was doing that i think spare was looking for something in marjorie's pocket and she found the earring that belonged to figure that's when the light bulb kind of like lit in her head and she was starting to think what the hell is going on and she realized that Maji has been cheating on her with someone else. And that person is obviously Fikile. She was distraught. She was speechless. She was emotionally distraught. And she was unable to stay at the relaunch. So right before she was about to leave um cd walked in and saw that she was not feeling pretty well she she asked um spare what the problem was and she didn't really tell her she just walked off then a few scenes after that she went to Gungani's place and she was emotional she was really hurt and heartbroken she could not even contain her tears and she could not believe what Maji was capable of doing behind her back so she got comforted by Gungani and Gungan was asking Spare who Marjorie is cheating with and she's like Fikile and Gungan was like well that did not take you that long and she was also acknowledging that yeah it did not take him that long for him to cheat so she wanted to spend the night with Gungan and she's like I want someone to hold me to comfort me but Gunkan was like, I think I should just give you a, a cup of coffee and drive you home or you go to your dad's house, not spend the night here. Which I find really, really amazing for him to do because that shows that he has some respect towards his pair and he did not want to cross those boundaries with her anymore 
like that line is being drawn in the sand and he did not want to cross the line anymore like it shows how great Gunkane can be with someone he really truly loves and I saw a glimpse of that in that scene so um Spey did end up going back home and when she got home she was still crying you know pouring her out like she broke down to the point where she was just done she wanted to be done with the marriage and she started packing her clothes like she was mentally going to just divorce Marge. while she was doing that uh what's her name td td walked in while she was literally packing and crying her eyes out and she's like what is going on Spec, come down come down and tell me what's going on and she's like marjorie's cheating on me with Fikile." and you know what to this response was like it's not the end of the world that someone is cheating you on you you need to think about the long term not punishing him in this moment you need to come down and tell yourself what do you want from this slow term that's when she was like oh i need to pause come down and rethink of the consequences of what i'm doing if i do divorce him so she decided to sleep on it what she did the following morning she did not say anything to Marjorie. She was pretending like nothing has happened. And to make things worse, Marjorie is here still acting like he's done nothing wrong. He's pretending like he's in a really healthy marriage, which I find baffling to me because he has no respect for his pain whatsoever and his actions show me that this character does not love pay as he claims that he does because episodes before that he went to Fikile's hotel and said I can't think about stop thinking about you and when I'm with you, I feel at home. I feel like I'm myself. How could you say those words to someone you just slept with once, by the way? And then he's like, what do you want from me? He's speaking to Fikile. And Fikile's like, I want you. Of course you want Marjorie. For the wrong reasons obviously so they end up sleeping together again but moving from that spare has now decided to not say anything or acknowledge that she knows the truth about Marjorie and Fike. and my gut tells me that she has something planned on how to deal with Marjorie and his cheating ways. It scares me because the way she was calm that morning when they were having breakfast, it's like, oh, I'm supportive of my husband because that's what the wife should do. I'm thinking her game face is on, right? She is totally in it and i give props to her because she had every right to cheat on Marjorie if she wanted but she's not going to lower herself to that level that Marjorie is at and i love that about her so she has something really working behind the scenes 
and I wonder what it is because that girl can be ruthless when she wants to she's her father's daughter let's not forget that um so we'll see what happens in the near future so don't forget to like subscribe and share if you want peace I'm out